Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. It's that time again. We are down here at the um, San Luis Obispo Animal Services, the county shelter, and we're actually celebrating a little bit today. Celebrating a little bit. This is our 12th anniversary, Deborah. That's 12 years of Rescue Me. And that is one of the reasons that the adoption rates down here at Animal Services have gone up so much over the last decade plus. Um, it's not perfect yet, but we are certainly getting the vast majority of our animals adopted into homes to breed rescues. Um, you know, just volunteers are down here working all the time. The staff's working. Everyone's working towards making sure these dogs leave by the front door, not by the back. But it's and a lot of work, too. Deborah. This is not something that just happens. It's a lot of work for a lot of people. And we'd really like to stem the tide of anybody coming into that front door in the first place. How do we do it? Let me hear you. We, we spay and neuter those doggies and those kitty cats. Yes, we do. What else do we do? IDs, Deborah, we right here on this collar. Sharpie marker, phone number on the collar, and little... What's her name again? This is, Spark this is Sparky. Sparky. Little Sparky would not be with us. She would no. be at home with her family, but no, she's with us. Anyway... You guys out there, I know some of you have watched us. It's our first episode. Irene, I'm talking to you. I know you watched <laughs> episode number one of Rescue Me, and you tell me every year that you're still watching. So for all of you out there that have been watching us year after year after year, thanks for all you do for our animals, getting them adopted, putting your IDs on your pets, and spaying and neuter. Okay, I think Sparky Deborah. was just telling you thank you, Terry, because that was that was definitely a kiss saying thank you. But now Sparky needs a home. Speak. She's darling. She's a little distracted right now, but she she has the most incredible underbite. She's got these great little teeth sticking up. You got to love that. She's very good with other dogs. She's a very loving little girl. We think she's about five or six years old. It's hard to say, but approximately that. Still very young and just an all around great girl. So, if you are interested in adopting this terrific dog, her ID number is 198444. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. This is Ziggy. He came in with a crowd of six chihuahuas, none of whom had much socialization at the time. They all greatly improved. Most have been adopted. Ziggy is still waiting for his perfect home. He needs a quiet home. He's still a little bit nervous with people he doesn't know well but very sweet and affectionate with the people that he does and he trusts. So probably best in an adult home or a home with older children um, or just with adults. He is a wonderful companion and will make someone just the best friend for the rest of his life. And he's got to have his adoption fee paid. So we really want to motivate you to get Ziggy out of here. So that's going to save you over $50 right there. Not to mention those ears, Deborah. One up, one down. He's got good ears. ID number 197446, this is Ziggy. This is beautiful Bella. She is our full-figured, gorgeous girl. She could maybe lose a pound or two, but she is a gorgeous thing. I like she's, how she's just hanging out on the set. Yeah, you know, you really, you can't really, she's kind of unflappable. She, she's um, very cash. She's great. She's very, she seems to be very house trained. She likes to chase the ball. She's not that great at bringing it back yet, but she loves chasing it. She's very sweet and affectionate. Aff affectionate. She does well with most dogs, especially males. So Bella is a prize. And she's also just, she's just super loving. She likes to give you kisses and sit oh. on your lap and just be your, your buddy. I think Greer has found her spot. I think she likes Greer plenty. <laughs> oh, look at that. Once, oh. you've been kissed, once you've been kissed by a pit bull, you, you never go back. So anyway, Bella, 192591. Wait a minute. She's got half her adoption fee paid. And that saves you over $50. Not that she, she needs to be anybody's wow. bargain, but she is kind of a bargain. Wow. And she's beautiful. And she is our sweet Bella with her ears flopped on top of her head most more, of the time. More, more. Oh, look it. <laughs> 192591. That is Bella. This is Happy. He is about eight years old, and his name reflects his personality. He is just a joyous guy. Most of the time, he's walking around with a big stuffed toy in his mouth. That is his favorite way to be. He's extremely affectionate, great to walk on a leash, very easygoing. He's just an all-around nice guy. And he's the volunteer's pick of the month. So that One means of half of his adoption fee is paid as well. So we, we choose for our volunteer's picks the ones that we think are really sweet and good and deserving dogs and are a little bit overlooked, and that would that's happy right now. He is a great guy. His ID number is 133253. This is happy.
talk about a distinctive looking dog. That This is one that's going to get you attention. Jordan is great looking. I love that black patch over his eye and his black ears. Uh, he's a nice compact size, not too small, definitely not big. He's just about two years old. He's Does very confident, Deborah. He's not skittish at all. Comes right to the front of the kennel to meet and greet. He's, he, you're absolutely right. He is very confident. He's a little overconfident when it comes to chickens. <laughs> he'll, he'll take out a chicken, so we don't want him going to any place that has chickens. And he's good with most other dogs, particularly females, but most other males as well, unless they challenge him. He's, there's a little bit of, uh, well, you know, he's a dude, and occasionally Macho. he tells him to, to beat it. But mm -hmm. um, he's a great little dog. Very responsive, very smart. Jordan's ID number is 198258. This is our other volunteer's pick of the month. This is Milo, and he is a shelter favorite. You know, he's an older dude. He's about 10 years old. He's a little arthritic in the back. He needs a low energy. <laughs> he's very enthusiastic. You know, there's, there, his personality has no arthritis. Yes. Just his, just his hips do. He likes to kiss, kiss, kiss. He's a kisser. He's, he loves his Kong to get things out of his Kong. He loves chew toys. He has a very young heart, but a little older in the back. Um, you know, he likes short walks. He, he loves to just lay in the sun and be petted, roll in the grass. He's looking for a retirement home. But because he is our volunteer's pick, he has $50 uh, off on, or fifty two fifty dollars actually, off on his adoption fee. We love this guy. He lost his home after 10 years. That stinks. That stinks. That big time. Big time. So he needs to go someplace to have a, a wonderful, relaxed, loved life for another two or three or four or five or ten. And yet, Deborah, he's taken to all the volunteers after being with someone for ten years. So that's great. He's, he's got a super flexible. friendly. He's going to bond with a new family. No problem. Milo's ID number is 142658. Volunteers pick of the month. Tickles is another one of our big, full-figured girls. Um, she is so funny. She's great on the leash. She just makes you laugh watching her. She's a lap dog, and I'm really serious about that. As soon as you sit down, she wants to be sitting in your lap. Tons of personality here. She's okay with other easygoing dogs. She's not a rough player. She doesn't like people, I mean, other dogs bouncing. All, people can bounce on her. She doesn't like dogs bouncing on her. But um, super friendly, super happy. Tickle's ID number is 197854. This is a newcomer to the shelter. She arrived here on the 11th of April, picked up um, in the South County, the 300 block of Pablo Lane in Napomo. So is somebody missing their very, very exquisitely sweet beagle mix? We have her down here. She's a little bit of an older girl, maybe 10 years old. Just super, super sweet. Her ID number is 198500. And of course, if she had ID on her, we could get her home. But yes, in the meantime, that's right. In the meantime, she's with us. And we love her. Well, this is a little cutie pie. It looks to be a silky terrier that was picked up in... Um, Paso Robles on the 7th of this month. We're going to call him Frazier. Nobody's come looking for him. He's pretty darn cute. He's very, he seems to be good with cats. He's good with most other dogs, although other macho males don't, doesn't really ring his bells. Um, and he would be perfectly happy as an only dog as well. But he's got the cuteness factor going, so I don't expect him to be down here long. If you're interested in a silky terrier, I'd get down here fast. His ID number is 198444. This dog was pretty shy when she first came to us, but Larry was just saying how much she's come out of her shell since she got here. Um, she's, she's fairly high energy. There's a lot of energy in this girl, but it's not obnoxious, wild, crazy energy. It's just fun energy. Terrific with other dogs. She loves to chase with the other dogs and play chase and roll around and have a good time. I bet she she's, likes to show off these ears, too. She's just really, really a nice dog. She's, and, and she's got those championship ears on her as well. Um, she seems to love children. Also, when we have kids in, she just really gravitates towards the children. So this would probably be a really good children's dog, um, all-around good girl. Her ID number is 198312.
This is a super nice dog. He came to the shelter on the 9th of April. He was picked up in Arroyo Grande on Calendar Road. So somebody is missing their very nice dog. He's a little bit scared down here, but coming out of his shell, extremely affectionate, very sweet. Um, just friendly and cuddly and just a good guy. We're going to call him Paint if nobody comes to pick him up because he, he has little white feet. Looks like he stepped in a... In a bucket of paint so it looks like has a little splash of paint on his nose he does too. huh he's got the white on his yeah. nose too he's really nice seems to be a gentle soul id number 198464 this is paint well, well somebody had to move and they could not take their dog with him so mr white is down here at the shelter he's just about two or two and a half years old full of enthusiasm He's a smart guy. He knows uh, sit. Someone was telling me that he also knows shake. Uh, he is. Um, he loves to run. He goes out in the yard and just runs his brains out. So he does have a fair amount of energy. Very sweet and affectionate. I had him out earlier, and he just wanted to just be in my lap and give me kisses and just be a fun guy. Mr. White's ID number is one nine eight five zero seven. Well, we have a fair amount of chihuahuas and chihuahua mixes down here at the shelter. Um, so everybody, please be careful about overbreeding those chihuahuas out there because there's an awful lot of them here and at other shelters in the county and all through the state, actually. I think this we is, have enough. We have enough. We have we enough. We do. But this is a great one. This is Piglet. And I think she got that name because her, her, her tail kind of curls over her back. Um, I don't know why else because she does not look like a pig to me. She is absolutely oh. darling. I think it's the tail action. She's quite young, just about two. She's really good with the other dogs. She's just an all-around nice dog. Very sweet and loving. Loves her lap time. Likes her walks. And hangs out with the other doggies down here. Perfect. ID number 198371. This is our little piglet. This is quite a handsome boy, Deborah. He's gorgeous. Oh. We, we think he's probably Lab and Chesapeake Bay Retriever. He is absolutely right to me. a gorgeous dog. Maybe three or four years old. Wow. Very smart, responsive, seems to be house trained, easy on the leash, or pretty easy on the leash. Just an all around nice dog. And his name is Whiskey. His ID number is 198286. You will get noticed with this big, beautiful mm -hmm. brown boy. Hey, Deborah, I have to tell you one thing. If my sister is watching, that's Margaret in New Jersey. She's going to call for this Great Dane. She told me if you ever get a Great Dane on, I want it. She lives in New Jersey. She's going to have to get here fast. I know it. Because this girl's not going to last. Unless her owner comes and gets her. She arrived here on the 11th of April from Morro Bay on the beach, Morro Bay, Cayucas. This little girl was wandering by herself. So somebody should, well, she's not a little girl. She's somebody, not a little girl. And she would be noticed, don't you think? I would think so. I don't know how you lose a dog like this. Uh-uh. Um, but she's been here for a few days now. And she's delightful. Everybody's in love with this dog. She's wow. sweet and gentle. She seems to do great with other dogs. She's you know, she's great on the leash. She's just sweet. I don't know what else to say about this girl. She's fantastic. Her ID number is 198495. And I, if her owners don't get here, I'd get down here fast, folks, to adopt because she will go fast. Hey, Margaret, you've got a lot of competition here. This is um, shelter favorite Frankie. He's just one of those little guys that thinks he's kind of tough. He's very loving and sweet. He gets along with most dogs every once in a while. There's one, if there's a male with any attitude, Frankie will answer. But in general, great. He seemed to be afraid of our office cat, so I think he'd be great with cats. Um, he's just a fun, funny, sweet, loving, happy, playful little dog. Um, you saw, I think it was Mavis earlier, or and they are just best friends. They play, they chase, they have a great time. He's also really, really good friends with our female uh, Sparky. So, so if you want he two would dogs, be ideal if you wanted two dogs. He'd go along with any other dog. He can go with another dog and play and have a great time. Great. Frankie's ID number, 198204. He is a great little dog. Highly entertaining. Brand new to the shelter, just got in here today, April 14th. He was picked up in San Luis Obispo on Left Street and Oso. Somebody must be looking for this dog. He's 
um, very nice. He's well cared for. Uh, somebody's got to be looking for him. He, and again, you know, if he had that ID on him, if he had a microchip, if he had a collar with a phone number written on it, he would be home. Exactly. It's so easy, Deborah. Just it is. now, anybody out there who's thinking, I should be doing that, get up and do it. You'll. And, you know, if at all possible, our officers, when they pick these animals up, they will Absolutely. go drive by the address and see if someone's there before they bring them here. Absolutely. So they're willing to do that. Um, neighbors are willing to do that for you if your dog is walking around with identification on them. So please, everyone, ID your pets. This guy is just about a year old. His ID number is 198515. He's a very nice dog and will get adopted fast if his owners don't come for him. <laughs> this is Spanky. He's not cute. Um, about seven months old. He's looking really calm there because he just got neutered. But he is an active dog. Uh, some of our volunteers are runners, and uh, one of them commented that he's a good little jogger. Um, his name is Spanky. He's hilarious. He's cute. He's funny. He's adorable. He'll get you noticed. Look at that nose, all that little spotted nose. That is, that's just almost too cute to stand. Spanky's ID number is 198482. Is that the cutest thing you have ever seen? This is what? the cutest, most interesting looking little guy. <laughs> he's some kind of cross of a, I don't know what he's crossed with, uh -huh. but he is a great looking but, little guy. And he's very strong. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, he's a muscular a little dude. Yeah. About a, we think maybe a year to a year and a half old. He was picked up on the 11th in Paso Robles, um, found at the 3600 block of Vine and 36th Street in Paso. So somebody's missing a very cute dog. His ID number is 198503. So if you're looking for a super different looking little guy, this is it. He's really cute. This is Chapito. He's getting over kennel cough down here. He's doing great now, though. He's a lovable little guy. He's crate trained. He's good in your, likes to just sit on your lap. Easy on leash, good with other dogs. Another one that apparently is not so hot with chickens. I don't know. What do these dogs have against chickens? I think they're just trying to cook dinner for you myself. Aww. I think they're just doing it for you. But, okay, so no places with chickens for Chipito. But he's a great dog. He's very cute. He's really cute. ID number 198259. He's got that great fuzzy little muzzle. The cutest thing, cutest thing ever. Well, Larry says this is the handsomest Chihuahua he has ever seen, at least down here. This is Bitsy. It is a boy. The, the name might imply a female dog, but this is a little boy. He is a little teeny tiny boy. He's a beautiful tricolor. He's got the brown on his legs and his white chest. He's gorgeous, and his ears are fabulous. Well, he has those ears for balance, you know. You know, really, if you looked up Chihuahua in a breed book, it would look pretty much exactly <laughs> like this. this he's, he is a gorgeous little dog. His, and he's a nice little dog, as you can see. He's just hanging out with, with Larry, easy going, nice guy. And he's kind of little. His ID number is 198379. This is Bitsy. This is a darling little girl. Um, she was really scared when she came in here. Now she's friendly. She's great with the other dogs. She's a little bit shy, but she's super loving. She's good on the leash. Um, she's, she seems to be okay with cats, and gosh, she's cute. I'd say percentage-wise, her ears are, are make up more of her little being than any other dog here. Absolutely adorable. ID number 194507. Somebody come down here and adopt little Tracy. She needs to get out of here. And another super little guy with a ton of personality. This is actually Tracy's best friend. This is Romeo. Wouldn't that make a great pair if they could go out together? Wouldn't that be great? Absolutely. It would be so great. They just entertain each other. They sleep together. They love each other. They're just nice little dogs. And the thing is, if you put both together, you don't have like one full dog yet. You don't. No. I mean, you're, the, the cost of feed them is still like practically zero. So really, consider it. But Or adopt them separately. Really, we just want to get them into good homes. They're great dogs. He's very curious about himself. <laughs> Romeo's ID number <laughs> is 198 
two six three, and I think he thinks he's being challenged by a big tough dog right now, and he's just letting that dog know that back off, I'm Romeo. <laughs> This is Brandy. She's a nice, calm, sweet dog. Very smart, very affectionate, pretty little thing. Likes nice. to wag her tail. She's a tail wagger, and she's a nice pocket size. You know, she's not too big, sort of a medium-sized girl. Her ID number is 198354. That is Brandy. This is one of the sweetest, dearest dogs in the shelter. We think she's only about four years old, but I think she's had it a little bit rough. She's um, become the volunteer favorite. She is a volunteer's favorite. She is an absolute doll. And if you, I, I don't know if you can see it behind you, Terry, but her tail's going nuts back there. I can feel it. She's, so we're, you know, we want someone who wants a sweet dog who's had it a little bit rough to come and adopt this wonderful girl and give her a great home for the next dozen years or so. We just love her. Her name is Kenya. And her ID number is 198363. A sweeter dog you will not find. This is a newcomer to the shelter. She came in on the 12th of April. Absolutely darling dog, about four years old. Found in the North County, one mile east of Jardine Road on Estrella Road. Um, so the Paso area. Um, she's... A cute little dog. Somebody's got to be missing her, and she should get adopted very quickly if she's not picked up by her owners. Again, everyone, those IDs would really help out with this kind of thing. Her ID number is 198511. This is Stella. Isn't she cute? She's about seven months old. She just had her space surgery, so she's a little bit out of it. There's more energy in Stella than it looks like right now. She's got those pretty little white feet too. I love that. Um, great little puppy, good jogging partner, all around good girl. ID number 198481. So closing out our 12th year, Deborah, we wanna say what? We wanna say, first of all, thank you to San Luis Obispo County for being so open to adopting at, at our shelter rather than going to pet stores and buying off the internet and coming here and adopting. So thank you, first of all, and please keep coming to us and to other shelters that are taking care of the homeless in the county. And if you don't have ID on your pet yet, get ID on your pet. Get ID on that pet. And please remember that every stray that's picked up in San Luis Obispo County from San Miguel to Napomo comes to this shelter. They don't go to any other shelter as a stray. They have to come here. So if your dog is missing, this is the first place you should look. Come down and physically look. You can also check online. Um, there's, a, there's ways to do it. But the best thing is to come in and look for your lost pet. Happy anniversary, Rescue Me. Yay. Yay, Stella. Well, here's our first up cat, and this is Lady. Lady, as you can see, is a very nice long-haired black and white. She is ID number 196613. That's Lady, and Lady is a senior. Yeah, she qualifies for our senior rebate. If you like Lady, you can adopt her, and we will rebate you $35 of your adoption fee. That's right. Lady's a senior, so she gets a $35 senior rebate. ID number 196613. Lady. Hello, Sassy. Look at this gorgeous cat. I especially want you to notice the ears. I just love when that happens. This cat is a long-haired cat. Her name is Sassy. And she is sassy. She loves to be petted. She loves to be with people. And I think she is a great looking cat. Her ID number 198350. And sassy would qualify for our black cat rebate. That's right. We rebate you $25 on a black cat if you adopt one of them. And sassy is a black cat. ID number 198350. Sassy comes with a black cat rebate. She is gorgeous. 198350. Next up, we've got Kitty, and we did not put this blanket around Kitty. Kitty got in that blanket herself. She is just snoozing away here at the shelter. Not much to do, you know, in these very small cages. These cats have to be in every day, 24 hours a day, 
they really need more exercise than we can afford them here. So that's why we want to get them out of here as quickly as possible. Kitty has half her adoption fee paid. That's right. If you fall in love with her, you'll get half her adoption fee right off the top. She is ID number 197928. That is Kitty. You great cat lovers, you're going to love Albert because he is totally gray. He's just about four years old and a really nice guy. His ID number is 198224. Albert. Here's a sweet one. This is Brittany. And Brittany is eligible for our senior rebate. Brittany is a senior. Her ID number is 197810, and she is loved, loved, loved by the volunteers. She loves to be petted, and she really, really, really needs to get out of here. Brittany's ID number, 197810. Well, here's a newcomer to the shelter. We found this cat on the 12th of April in Atascadero on the 4,000 block of Nogales. This cat is female, just about eight months old, and ID number 198512. Are you missing this cat? Here's another newcomer. We found this cat on the 11th of April. We found this cat in Paso Robles at Barney Schwartz Park. We think this cat is about four years old, and he is neutered. ID number 198501. If you think you've lost this cat, his ID number is 198501. Very friendly. Another newcomer to the shelter, we found this cat on the 12th of April in Arroyo Grande on Cameo Way. This cat is female. We think she's about two years old. Are you missing her? ID number 198509. Say hi to Abigail. Abigail is female, ID number 197997. She's a senior, so she qualifies for the senior rebate. $35 back on her adoption fee if you fall in love with her. That's Abigail, 197997. Okay, so maybe you're in the market for a bunny. Well, here's Ralphie to... Be that bunny for you. Ralphie is a male. He's just about two years old. He's a little bit shy, so he's staying in his house there. His ID number, 197154. That's Ralphie the bunny. Ralphie the bunny.